What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Analog Bebop. My name is Kyle. Today I'm talking about a trip that I went on recently with my girlfriend to San Francisco. We were going there for the Van Gogh art showcase thing where you like walk into a room and like all of his paintings are projected onto the walls and it's like a really immersive, super cool experience. So we were going there for that, but we decided that we wanted to make a day out of it because San Francisco is a couple hours away from us. So the day before we went to San Francisco, I stopped at the closest film lab to me and picked up a couple rolls of Kodak Ultramax 400. I really love the colors that Ultramax produces. It has that kind of super ultra grainy, almost looks like it's from a disposable camera look. So I actually picked up two rolls of Ultramax because I was gonna let my girlfriend Kaylin borrow my Canon AE-1 and then I was actually gonna be using my new Canon A1 with the winder on it as well. I picked this up a little bit ago because I just wanted a secondary 35 millimeter camera. It's pretty much the, the same exact camera as the Canon AE-1, just the, the body is obviously newer and also there's just some um, changes to the dials as well. But it's, a, it's an FD mount camera for Canon, so I can use all of my FD lenses on both of these cameras. Overall, I was just really excited to use this camera, especially because I bought it with the 50 millimeter 1.2 aperture lens. So our first stop in San Francisco, we actually stopped at the Palace of Fine Arts. <laughs> the Palace of Fine Arts is basically like a park that you can walk around in and it, there's a lot of really cool architecture. But we just kind of walked around and snapped some photos. Kaylin was actually shooting a roll of Ultramax through the AE-1 and then I had a roll of Ilford XP-2 in my A1. I've actually never shot black and white film before so it was a really exciting experience. The cool thing about Ilford XP-2 is that it's actually a C41 processed black and white film which means that you could develop it in the same tank as your color negative film stocks. I do develop my own film and I only have C41 chemicals at the moment. So instead of investing in black and white chemicals, I could develop it along with the rest of the film stocks that I used on this trip, which is actually really cool. And I'm glad that there's actually a black and white film that you can use the same chemicals with. So it was my first time shooting black and white film and I was really excited to see the results as we walked around at the Palace of Fine Arts. portrait of Kaylin turned out. She does hate getting her picture taken so I'm glad that she let me take this photo because it's honestly one of my favorites. Kaylin has only shot film a few times with me. The first time we went on a trip to Point Reyes and she was taking photos for the art show at her school and she actually won in the category of photography for the art show with the photo that, that she took on that trip. Being an artist herself, she, she does paint a lot and it definitely transitions well into having a great creative eye for photography as well. So I was really happy with how all of her shots turned out. She even snapped a photo of me right here where I look super stoked. 
After we left there, we went and got some coffee and then we went to this park in the city. I've been to this park a couple times before and it's honestly one of my favorite spots in San Francisco. There's always dogs running around and families there and it's a, just a really cool park to visit. I honestly forgot what this park is even called. So if anyone is watching this and you know exactly what I'm talking about and you recognize this spot, please comment below and tell everyone what this park is called because if you're ever in San Francisco, it's a really cool park to go to. But as we were there, I loaded up the Canon A1 with my roll of Ultra Max and I just kind of walked around and took some shots of the whole environment. Meanwhile, Kaylin actually finished her roll of Ultra Max, and then I gave her a roll of Cinesol 50D, and she got some really cool shots. love going to San Francisco and taking photos. It's one of my favorite spots and it's always a really good time to just kind of walk around and take some street photography. And every time I go to the city, I see something new that I haven't seen before. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten on my videos so far. But if you have any requests on what other kind of videos that you like to see on this channel, I would appreciate you leaving a comment down below. I think one of the next videos that I'm going to be working on is actually kind of going over my film camera collection. I've only really talked about my AE-1 and my Mamiya 7, so I'm excited to show you guys what other cameras that I have in my collection. And stay tuned for more film photography videos on this channel. And remember, if you aren't subscribed already, then go ahead and subscribe. Like, honestly, what do you have to lose? Anyways, peace out.